Hi, this video is about message mapping patterns. It is difficult to grasp cues and context topic. Even some senior integration consultants fail to fully grasp this topic. There are numerous blogs and videos on cues and context. You can search for them online. If you understand the concept, good for you. If you don't understand, by following a few rules, you can simplify the message mapping. Let's look at an example. On the left, you have input XML. On the right, you can see the expected output XML. If the type is buyer, name and ID should be created under buyer node. If the type is seller, name and ID should be populated under seller node. Similarly for shipper. Typically, this is how mapping sheets looks like. Map name element when type is buyer or seller or shipper. Most of the message mappings are done like this. Buyer node is mapped to constant and based on type element, name and ID are mapped. If there are 20 more fields under contact node, then the logic has to be repeated for all the fields. When you test the mapping, output looks fine. But remember, filtering logic has to be applied to all the fields under contact node. Now let's look at a better approach. Here is how we can improve the mapping. Buyer, seller and shipper nodes are mapped to type element and other elements are mapped one to one. By suppressing the nodes, when type doesn't match, we achieve the desired output. When you test the mapping, the results are same, but remember this mapping is far simpler. Let us understand this mapping. In a XML, if element has children, it is called node. If there are no children, it is called leaf element. Filtering logic is applied on node elements and leaf elements will be mapped one to one. The context of buyer node is manipulated by changing the context of type element. Let's recap. Put the filter logic on node elements, map leaf elements one to one, avoid uh, remove context, collapse context, map with default on node elements. Avoid context change of leaf elements. So with this, I conclude this video. Thank you for your time.